Hello everyone and welcome in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video we are going to learn how to use the built-in dash feature of MC. So what are dashes? Dashes are your regular uh, vault, roll, dodge or whatever name you give, movement, ability, logic, built-in MCE. So how do we use this? It's actually pretty simple. You need to create a new skill. So you might you might have a few skills uh, wandering around like I do, like the stunning kick it does nothing, it just prints something. So how do you use the dash the dash ability? First you ask for for instance uh, so I'm not sure if you followed uh, the skill behavior video, but in my, if you haven't, make sure you do. So in my skill behavior video, I basically added that event and it makes me able to, to trigger any gameplay event I want and it's going to trigger everywhere. So in there, I want to type in start dash like this. And it's asking for uh, several things. First thing I will cover is the the two on the bottom just because it's simple do you want the dash to check the collision or not and do you want the dash to ignore some collision channels um, we are just going to say that we want to ignore no channels and we want to check the collisions we are just going to say that for our dash and so what is the direction in in there uh, we are just going to say that we want so this is a normalized direction so it doesn't matter if you specify 100 or 1, it's just going to be a direction on a, on a plane. So we want to say, hey, get the forward user vector. And we just want to dash towards uh, our front. So we just want to dash forward. Um, how much range do, you, do we want to cover? 400, for instance. And at what speed we are going to say, I don't know, 1000, for instance. And so we now need to give this spell to our character, this ability to our character. So we are going to open that up. Uh, our ability is named Stunning Kick. So we want to say that our character now has the Stunning Kick ability. And you want to go back to your stunning kick, you want to go to your main montage, and you want to make sure that this ability is not using root motion. Uh, oftentimes, you don't want to use root motion in multiplayer. So for us to check if it's not using root motion, you, we want to open up this the animation the montage is using, that one. We want to go to root motion, disable the root motion by, left, by leaving this checkbox unchecked, and checking force root lock, saving this. And then we can hit play because our character has this new ability to dash. So the server is properly dashing. Is the client properly dashing? It appears that he is, but it's not quite a dash animation. So we will try to find a dash animation there do we have one? I'm just going to open up the animation. We have something called roll, which is using root motion. We are going to disable this. And we are going to say that we want to create an animontage out of that. Create, create animontage, AM dash. We want to open that up. And we want to add a bunch of notifies there. So this is this is the start, this is the first effect. Now it's going to be the first effect here. Like this, and it's going to be the end of the skill there. Like that. Then we're going to say that our stunning kick ability is using that new animation with a play rate of one, and we are going to check how it looks like. Hey, we have something weird going on. Our client has add the dash ability on the first 
on the first kill, but it doesn't matter. So focusing on the on the roll, we can see the feeling is not not quite right. And you can also see that the animation of our character, you can see on, on that part of the screen, that when I roll with the clients, it's being it's fr freezing the animation on the server, and that's an unreal bug. And I'm not sure if it's going to be if it's ever going to be fixed. But it's it only happens on the server if you have two clients rolling. They are not seeing each other freeze. Like as you can see on that part of the screen, two clients, it's not bugging when two clients are seeing the dodge. And I'm not sure why it's only bugging on the server. But in any case, the feeling of the dash is not quite that. So we are going to increase the range and the speed. We are going to up, uh, increase the range once again. It's starting to get a little better, but it's still not. It's still not perfect. I would say maybe the animation needs, maybe the skill needs to end a little bit sooner, like this. And you can tweak uh, when the skill ends and what is the what are the metrics of the dash to tweak the feelings you get. And that's how you can create a dashing ability. So it's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.